Most people who want to put together one of our designs, they are, are buying the printed circuit boards from us and then they are soldering components on them themselves. And uh, I would like to introduce the collection of printed circuit boards that we are selling. And generally we are pushing out new boards all the time because it's kind of easy to make them. And uh, we just love to, to have our electronics um, assembled on these nice, nice boards. It, it makes everything tidy and, and cool. So um, yeah, we, we make a lot of them. And it also means that we are not always updating our website in time uh, with the newest um, versions. The good thing is that you know already on GitHub you can find all our designs. So if you find a printed circuit board on our GitHub open engineering repository, you can always ask us if you can buy it. And if we have it in stock, we would be happy to sell you uh, one of these boards. Um, even if it's not listed on the public uh, website. Yes, so what do I have right here? Um, just some examples. This is a a board for a linear slider and uh, this is our breakout board. The breakout board is supposed to be mounted on top of the Arduino and it has a flat cable connection to the other boards. We have a, a small breakout board for display and it just converts um, a connection to the display to the usual header we are using so that we can have a nice flat cable daisy chain connection. The same with this little guy. This, this is for a T-bar. So maybe let's take a look at a T-bar. So it looks like this. And, and here you can see um, this, this printed circuit board, it, it fits uh, onto um, this, this connection of the T-bar right here. So right there we put a, a pin header and that allows us to take a flat cable connection. I'm just bringing in a shield right here. So that the T-bar is connected to the rest of the system by a flat cable connection. So that's kind of the principle we are, we are pursuing all over. Um, to, to use these circuit boards to make easy connections between things. Then sometimes you find uh, boards in series, like these four boards. They are all smart switch boards. Uh, never mind the color over here, it doesn't matter. And if we look at the front side of these boards, you can see that um, this is for two smart switches which are mounted side by side. This is for two smart switches which are mounted on top of each other in a column. And this is also for four smart switches in a column. And finally, this guy is for four smart switches mounted in a row. Okay, so that's, that scenario is necessary because we are doing this with smart switches, which are the small uh, buttons with a nice display inside. So they know the difference between up and down. But if we uh, take something like our BI8 boards like these, you can uh, decide to mount it like this or like that. It doesn't matter because the buttons are square and it's all a question of how you uh, put your legend inside the, the cap. Then, of course, we have a whole range of printed circuit boards in the series called BI8. And BI8 is the fancy title for the button interface boards. And uh, these are BI8 boards, those you have right there. Okay, let's push this aside and look at all the BI8 options. The original BI-8 looks like this, and it has two rows with four buttons. So it's called BI-8 2 times 4. And this is the schematic and the board design that I have loaded right here. And you can see it comes from a folder called PCB Design BI-8 Series Board Skorhoi BI-8 2 times 4. And um, if we take a look at this folder structure again, you can see that we have some other boards in here. We have the, uh, the, the slim board. We have also the regular one times eight board right there. So why not open up the, the slim version? Now, um, when you look at the, the, slim, the slim version, the slim version is, is this guy, this board, and um, the other one, the regular, BI8 1 times 8 board is this one. So the slim version and the regular version is actually doing the same. You have um, eight buttons in a row. You can offset some of them because we have something called alternative buttons and uh, we should maybe call it alternative positions. So, so it, it just means that if this is the, um, the main hole for the BI8, uh, a button number eight, then there will be an alternative position where if, if you put a button there, 
it's uh, it, it will have the same button number in software, but it's just located slightly differently in a physical way. So the slim version is just a compact version of this one, and it's really nice because, let me just show you, I have three slim versions here. Uh, I think you can almost see it right now. They are constructed in a way so that you can have a really tiny gap between the buttons, like that, with this clever, fancy, confusing zigzag structure. I like them. One of the points I want to drive home here is the fact that all our BI8 boards are sharing the same schematics. So, what you're looking at right here is for the BI8 1x8 slim version and everything you see right here is the same as if we had opened just the regular version. It's the same. Or if I opened the 2x4 version, it's the same. Or if I found some of the other versions we have. And we have actually some other versions. For instance, if you go under C201, you will find a folder called Eagle. And inside there, you find the BI8 Special Edition C201 schematic. I open this one, it's the same. And that's what is the case if you look at these are the traditional ones. Then we have, this is the special edition for the C201 controller, this guy. And that's necessary because we want to have eight buttons in this special configuration right here. Then we have another board here. And this is for a top secret military grade controller three unit thingy which are being developed at the moment. So this has an even different, uh, another button configuration. And we have some boards. This is for uh, the next version of the C30, which is also based on a BI8 board. That's the introduction to our printed circuit board program. And just to, to summarize it, if there's a special uh, circuit board that you find on our GitHub repository, just, and you want to buy it, you just send me an email and we'll see if we have it in stock, we can just ship it to you, even though it doesn't appear in the regular uh, web shot, just make sure that in, um, in the comment field of your order, you mention which particular board it is and that you have uh, spoken to us about uh, which one you wanted to order. Mm -hmm.